Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Dowd and this is Carter. Who's your assistant? Uh, my assistant. Okay, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to teach you how to bake a cake from scratch. Now, here's why it is important to learn how to bake a cake from scratch. Because one, sometimes the stores are all sold out of regular cake mix. Just, you know, sometimes it happens. Um, two, I feel like your mother would be super impressed. You know, Mother's Day is coming up. I think that would be a nice, you know, thing to do. And there's a lot of math and science involved in baking a cake. Um, so before we start with any baking or any time we're in the kitchen, the first thing we need to do is what, Bird? Wash your hands so okay. you don't get the cake germs or get the corona. <laughs> All right, put your hands out. If any soap you have. And how long should we wash our hands? 20 seconds. Seems out of the bit. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right. All right. I think they're all nice and clean. We have our nice little aprons on today. So we can just, you know, wipe our hands off. Her. She doesn't have her <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Carter, first we, oh, wait, the recipe calls for 1.25 cup of all-purpose flour. 1.25, what, is there, what, what's the 2.5 mean? That, uh, if it's 2.5, no matter the fraction, that'll be one-fourth of, like, one cup and one-fourth. Oh, so when it says 0.25 there, that you can turn that into a fraction. Oh, you get one fourth. And two five is one fourth. Okay. All right. So one cup and a fourth of all-purpose flour. All right. So we have our big mixing bowl. All right. So let's put in the flour. Well, first, before. We start putting stuff in the bowl. First thing you need to do is make sure you have all the ingredients. So it also calls for sugar. Do you have sugar? Hold it up. Yes. Hold it up. That, that's not sugar. Sugar. Yep. All right. So we have sugar. Let's put that right here. Then baking soda. Baking soda. You can get this at the stores. And baking powder, which is different than baking soda, because remember science, okay, sometimes we can't substitute certain ingredients because they just won't work out. So you need to have the um, powder and the soda in order for it to rise properly. Okay. Um, salt. Like baking powder and like you're making a volcano. Yeah, well, this is pretty much almost included in the bake, in the volcano. Right, so baking it soda rise. makes it like rise. fizzy and stuff. Yeah. Then you need the baking powder to offset that a little bit. Okay, so now we need a large egg. One, one large egg, naturally, not great. And we need the vegetable oil. All right, now when it comes to vegetable oil. You can, yeah, it is messy, but you can also use um, like a canola oil or something, you know, like an olive oil. It doesn't, it's not always as moist if you use something different, but you could. Anyway, vegetable oil. And then we need pure vanilla extract. This extract. is important. The vanilla extract is important in baking. That's what makes it taste vanilla. And then we need milk. It says to use whole milk. Well, you, we don't have whole milk, so we're going to use 2%. If this doesn't turn out right, we're going to blame it on the milk. Okay. Um, so that is what we need to make the actual cake here. Um, now, step one, preheat oven to 350 degrees. Oh, no. Preheat the oven. You know how to do that, Carter? 350. It's important to get the heat right. 
If you don't get the temperature correct on the oven, it will either cook too fast and not cook in the middle, or it will burn or not cook fast enough. So 350, okay. All right, and now in a large mixing bowl, whisk together flour, sugar, baking soda, and baking powder, and salt. Oh, that's a lot. This is why you have to have the recipe right here in front of you. You can't just do it from memory. Okay, so flour. There we go. Okay. Um, and then it says sugar. How much sugar do we need? Three-fourths of a cup of sugar. That is not sugar. This is salt. But they're totally different. If you put uh, that much sugar or that much salt in your cake, ooh, it's going to be gross. Okay. So three-fourths. Our. We don't have a three-fourths cup. We have a cup and a half a cup. So, Carter, where would you fill this up to? What would be three-fourths? Um, middle school I'd love to about half. Or maybe one line, oh, maybe like a, maybe about a little line. between the half and the full, yeah, right? Yeah, right about there with that line, right? Okay, yep, okay. Right there. Okay, sometimes you want to, yep, good job, Carter. You kind of want to shake it around a little bit so it makes sure that you get the right um, oh, measurement. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we need baking soda. A half a teaspoon of baking teaspoon. soda. Teaspoons are very small. Half teaspoon? Yeah. There's tablespoons yep. and teaspoons. Tablespoons and teaspoons. Yep, so this says teaspoon. T S P. Okay. So half a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. So I just kind of scooped it in there. You, you want it to be like, you know, even, right? Not like super full. You want it to kind of be to where you can just go like that. Dump it in there. Okay, our next is a one teaspoon of baking powder. So now let's find the teaspoon. That was half. Okay, one teaspoon. I'm just going to put that in there like I did the soda. This one even has, see how this has the thing there to kind of scrape it so you don't have too much? Smart. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So very, very, very little. Here, I happen to have one that is a fourth. You're going to have to pour it in there a little bit. It's a salt, not sugar. <laughs> Big difference. Okay, level it off a little bit there. All right. Try not to make a mess though. Yeah. Okay. So whisk together flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. So Carter, where is the whisk? Also, calls of beating it, you don't, it's not punching, you just need to use your mixer to mix it. You don't have to beat it with your fist. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to beat anything with our fist today. Okay, now it says to add the egg. So he's going to keep kind of whisking that together there. I'm going to add the egg. I sure don't get any shell. Yeah, it won't taste right. Oh yeah. Okay, and milk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna it. shake the whisk out a little bit because it kind of gets stuck in there when you put the egg in. Okay. Egg in. So now we need um milk, 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 milk. Half a cup of milk. One cup, but in the one cup. You see it says a half. And that's where it's going to it. Alright, let's wait until we get the rest of the stuff in Okay, so now we need the oil, which was also a half a cup. Here, 
like junk being gay and you have to put in the oven, you may let it. May, you may, she may let you eat the Lick the batter stuff? Okay, um. It's good. You make it right. Okay, add egg, buttermilk, and oil, whisk together, and then we have to add the hot water. How much hot water? Half a cup. All right, so. How's the camera looking here? Can you see everything in there? Okay. Just cut off my hair. No, it's okay. I'm going to see the bowl too. So I can see what it looks like. I'm going to let my water run a little bit. So you get hot. Because it doesn't say boiling, so we don't need to like boil it over the stove. Just regular hot water right out of the tap should get the job done. And add hot water, and then okay. And then we just need a little tiny bit of the vanilla extract. We need a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay. Now it says in this recipe, it says it will be runny, but that is okay. Okay, let me see. It smells like vanilla. Alright, we're gonna whisk this together a little bit, see how I'm gonna do with that. Okay, right, so now we have our. Maybe here. sometimes we might even give little tips. Okay. It is important first. It's important to make sure all of our stuff's clean, right? Yes. Right. Or you'll get the corona. Right. We don't want to get the corona. <laughs> so sometimes it's nice, even if like you've had um, dishes or cake pans sitting in the cabinet or something, you might just want to kind of rinse them out, even if they, they were clean when they were put away. Okay. And we're going to take the dish towel, make sure it's dry. Now, if you do not have a spray, you will use a little bit of vegetable oil. Oh, not that kind of spray. Harder. <laughs> this spray. Now, I have this because I make cakes a lot. So, I have this to spray onto my... So she can pretty much almost make, almost have her own cake shop. But, if you do not have that at home, you will use a little bit of this oil. Or butter. No, use oil. Because oh. butter will kind of make it sticky. So, you'll use a little bit of oil at the bottom of your cake pan there, so it doesn't stick. Okay. Now... to pour these in evenly. You want to make both pans with about the same amount in each pan. Okay. 